Welcome everybody to another episode of G-A-R-Y Response. How are y'all doing? We'll get right into it with Skate Junk who says, isn't it so funny when people ask a question that shows their insecurities slightly and then they put ha ha at the end and makes it any better? Ha ha. I guess you kind of just did it. I mean, I did this shit all the time, man. Like ha ha. It over. Just because it's crazy. I don't. I mean, I don't feel insecure about it. Sometimes the shit's just funny. So you add ha ha. Like I've seen people do that when they're scared. Like they don't want to. Like oh nigga, fuck you, ha ha. But they really mean me. Fuck you, die tomorrow. Train accident. Sorry to anybody that's been in a train accident. Ha 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 ha. Says don't let this distract you from the fact that Louis Lopez didn't get sodi. We always remember that. It, it wasn't a matter of the person that wanted didn't deserve it either. So it's that one, there's no huge distraction. Like if Jim Greco won Sodi last year, that would have been my thing all this year. Louis Lopez, Louis Lopez, but Jamie Foy who did his thing, got it. So it's not, you know. Was it a robbery? Best versus the best. God damn it. Hi in July says, Gary didn't give one stop credit where it's due. Dude did the longest, cleanest line, did something different to the game. Watch that video is gonna revolutionize the way we film and people like Gary who threw shade at them will be on the bleachers talking about the clips weren't even first try, weren't first try. There's people who heard what happened, people who saw that, people who saw that happen and the people who make it happen. This shit speaks on pavement, not behind the screen. Okay, uh, obviously I pissed you off with that whole thing. Uh, you, you didn't say once that I was lying and it was different. I've never seen a nigga do a line down seven blocks. This shit was crazy. It wasn't believable. We were focusing on the accuracy, not that Miles Silvers is garbage. Miles Silvers is amazing and a half. He's an instant click, he's an instant watch. He, he's phenomenal. Don't, don't let, don't play me. But that was some bullshit. If you're gonna make a story, make it believable. Nobody catches the subway in LA. Sorry. That was our only point. <laughs> you didn't have to type a whole paragraph of your feelings because this nigga went to where the man don't go. Alex Gaming, spelled with an E, says, did Ryan break his ankles though? No, he did not. Ryan Sheckler is fine. He just screamed because he thought he wasn't okay. And if you fall from that high, you also think you're not okay. You can't, you don't got time to look because then you see your ankles are broken and then you go into shock. He, 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 he was just like, okay, let me just get this out now. Let me get the shock out now. Then when I look down, I'll realize my fucking career's over for like eight months. That's what that scream was. Ah! is what he really said if you look some really closely. But he was like, oh wait, oh no, I'm fine. The fact that he ate that is actually incredible, so. The Satanic Hispanics, is Gary the type of person to heat up Pop-Tarts? Unfortunately, I am the disgusting motherfucker that used to heat up Pop-Tarts, man. I used to put them in the toaster, I used to put them in the microwave, and then I got smart and I used to like put them in the microwave and then like microwave butter and then put it on it and then it was flame. Then I realized if you put it in the freezer, you literally have one of the best cold snacks in the world. Or if you leave it alone and get a cold glass of milk, which I don't drink milk anymore. Well, the Pop-Tart, dude, come on. Clay Standris says, Gary and Ryan Beckford are 100% brothers. Are, are brothers 100% proven. Me and Ryan Beckford are not related. So that is hilarious. Not even cousins, not third cousins. I don't know anybody in his family on accident. I know exactly who he is. Though. That nigga can pop shove it so hot. Zach Wheaton says, you the coolest monkey in the jungle. You know what? That whole controversy is insane. Because this is my thing. Not the fact that the hoodie's on a little black kid. Who would have went to the store at any point in their life and seen a hoodie that says coolest monkey in the jungle and buys it? I would never. Like you're in the store, somebody's gonna be like, man, this shit say coolest monkey in the jungle. I'm getting this. Said no one ever. That shit is hilarious. Austin Barnett says, this is garbage. This thumbs up's for you, Austin. Thank you, man. You know, it's crazy how much we love you right back. Julia Richardson says, two links or Tide Pods. I don't get what the whole, uh, that whole Tide Pod shit is way beyond me. I guess I'm not young anymore. Must be getting older, nigga. I don't know what's going on, but I can give you niggas two links. Wrap up this episode of Gary Responds. Throw up a deuce like that. Pick my phone up, put it in my pocket. I'm not gonna walk away. I'm gonna let these links sit right here and I want you to click them. My face will be looking at you while you make a decision. Go.